guys and welcome to Nickrit. Today we're going over how to crochet our stuffed amigurumi pokeball pattern and it makes a really great gift for friends or family or really anybody who's a big Pokemon lover in your life and if you have any questions on how to do this we have a written tutorial down in the description linked from Ravelry. Alright let's get started. For this project you will need a basic glue gun. You don't need a big heavy duty one like I have right here. Any basic glue gun will do. This one's really high heat and it makes things adhere really hard. I do a lot of crafting which is why I have a really intense glue gun. You will need a darning needle, a size J crochet hook or 6mm depending on where you are, some nice little scissors, and you will also need worsted weight red yarn. I'm using Vanna's Choice. You're going to need worsted weight white yarn also Vanna's Choice. I would definitely recommend using the same type of yarn, be it Red Heart or Karen or anything really. I recommend Vanna's Choice, but that's because I really like Vanna's Choice yarn. I like how it's plushy and it makes really good amigurumi. You're also going to need a sheet of black felt. I would recommend getting something that's a little bit wider so you don't have to seam in the middle and it makes it so that it would be seamless, but this will also do and you can seam it later as I'll show you. To begin, I've made a magical ring using our red Vanish Choice yarn. If you have any questions on how to do that, there will be a link on how to do that in the description down below. So to start out, we're going to, we have six stitches here, and we're going to want to put two single crochets within each one of those stitches. Okay, so now we have 12 stitches, and now that we are on round three, we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch and then increase by putting two single crochets in the next one after that. So we're going in with doing one and then we do two in the next one all the way around until we get back to the beginning. That should get you at around 18 stitches. So you should now have 18 stitches on your circle and we are now going on to round four where we're going to single crochet, single crochet, and then increase by putting two single crochets within your third stitch on every part. And we're gonna do that until we reach the end. We are now on round five and currently at 24 stitches around. This next round, we're going to single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then do an increase round there. So we're single crocheting three, and then we're putting two single crochets into our fourth. We're gonna keep doing that repetition where we go on the next round, on round six, we're going to single crochet four, and then increase on our fifth. And on our next round after that, we're gonna single crochet five, and then single crochet increase on our sixth. And so on and so on until we are increasing on our eighth. And if you're confused by that, we have a written pattern down below which will go a bit more in depth about the very specific requirements for this pattern. So go ahead and click on that down below. I'm hopefully going to be also including those into the annotations. So we are now currently on round four with 30 stitches on our piece right here. And that's after increasing every fourth stitch. We just finished round five and we are at 36 stitches now. We just finished with round six and we are now at 42 stitches. We've now finished with round seven and we are at 48 stitches. Our next round should be our last round. If you want a bigger pokeball you can always keep going around and around and around and keep increasing but for the size that is on the description that is the size that I am making it. So. Okay so we've reached our final increase row and we should be at 54 stitches. Our next step is to single crochet around for the next six rounds. So this is what it should look like when you've done all six rows of your red. After this, you're going to want to put on your white yarn and you're going to want to start crocheting six more rows of that. And honestly, your join here does not matter because it'll be covered up by the black felt. So we have crocheted our six rounds of white and now we're going to start doing decreases. Whereas at the top, we were going from small and going larger until we were increasing every eight crochet. This one, we're gonna do the exact opposite. So we're going to start decreasing where we crochet seven, skip our eighth crochet, and then crochet another seven, skip and do that all the way around. And the next round, we're gonna do crochet six, the one after that, crochet five, crochet four, crochet three, crochet two, crochet one, until we get this so that it's very few stitches. Usually I get it down to about six to less than that. We just keep decreasing and decreasing, and then you can just slip stitch and wheedle it all the way through. And if you're confused like that, we have a written pattern description down below, which goes a bit more into depth than the way that I can describe it. So first we're just going to crochet seven, 
skip our eighth, crochet seven, skip our eighth. And we're gonna do that all the way around until we get back to the beginning. Then in the next round, we're going to crochet six, skip our seventh, and so on and so on. So when we get down to crochet four, skip our fifth, that's when you're gonna to wanna to start to actually start stuffing because it gets a little bit harder. You don't want to do it now because it's a bit big and it's a little gommy, but when you get it down to around here or so and the hole's only about that large, you can start stuffing it and it makes it nice and easy. Okay, so now we've decreased to the point where we, on our last round, we single crocheted four and then skipped our fifth. So now we've gotten to the point where we're going to want to start stuffing. And the point is to get this as round as possible. And I really don't have any other tips other than not overstuffing. You don't want to stuff so large that you can't get any more in here because that makes it a little loppy and a little weird looking. So what you're going to want to do is start stuffing and I like to cup it towards the sides and then stuff the centers. But again, don't overstuff because it gets a little weird and lumpy and gross looking. So I'll be back when that is stuffed. So we have stuffed it to the best of our ability. And again, there's no real science to it other than I like to start from the outside and then pushing it into the center, making it a bit more full. I'm gonna take a lint roller to it because, well, polyfill gets everywhere. And now we're going to continue doing our decreases. We stopped at, um, we four single crocheted and now we, we skipped our fifth. Now we're gonna want to do three single crochet and skipping our fourth and keep doing that. So we're going to single crochet two and then skip our third, single crochet one, skip our second, and until we can basically get that hole closed up. That's the goal. If you keep skipping at the end there, it'll be like about six or so, and you'll skip every other again, and you get down to three, and then you can slip stitch across, and it'll close it up. And I'll show you what I mean when I get there. Okay, so we have decreased down to six stitches here, and what I'm going to do in order to close this up is I'm going to continue to skip the next stitch and slip, and slip stitch that. And now I'm going to go to the one across here. Actually, I'm gonna get my hook out and fix my yarn. I'm gonna go on the one across here, and I'm gonna slip stitch that one. And now I'm gonna go to the third one over here, and now I'm gonna go to the third one over here across. And I'm gonna slip stitch that, and that should do it. And now I'm going to finish that. I'm going to cut my yarn, and I'm just gonna pull that through, and my base of my amigurumi is done. I just take my darning needle, and I try to flatten that out. I take my tail here, and I push it through here, 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 and I just flatten it out real quick. Let me show you. I take my darning needle, and I will put my tail in there and I just want to flatten this out a little bit so I'm going to take it and go through here and push it through there and now I'm going to push my needle up through here and that'll take care of that part right there I'm going to go in here again flatten it out a little bit more I'm going to go up here where I have a little raised part right there from the third to last single crochet and I'm going to flatten that out right there and you'll see that that makes that fairly invisible. You can't really see it. And next we're gonna go over how to do the belt section. I take my tail as well, and I just poke it through until I can't see it anymore. And so now that I've done that, I can just snip that tail off and it won't come undone. Before we could do our band, our black belt band around the center of our pokeball. Let's actually make the button for it real quick, our crocheted button. This will be the last thing that we actually have to crochet and the rest is just assembly. So first let's make a magical ring and we're going to put six stitches within that. So we've already put on our six stitches. If you have any questions on how to do the magical ring again, we have a tutorial. And now we're going to increase every single one of these. So you'll end up with 12 stitches at the end. So for every single crochet you have, put two single crochets in the top. So now we should have 12 stitches on our round here and we're gonna wanna go around one more time doing increases. So we're going to crochet one, two single crochet in the next. Crochet one, two single crochet in the next. And we're gonna go all the way around. 
So now we should have 18 stitches around and this will be a nice little band. What we're gonna do next is we're going to finish off this circle. So we're gonna skip this next single crochet and we're going to slip stitch into the second one. So skipping the first one after our two single crochets on our last part, we're going to slip stitch into this. And then I like to do a quick little chain, which helps me just finish off. Now we leave enough of a tail so that you can darn it inside of your button here and then just take it through. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna kinda smooth out our edges here, make it look a bit more round. You'll notice that once we get our felt in there, we can just put that right there. And I'll show you how to do the felt part next. So now we're working on the assembling and getting our black felt out. You're going to want to also plug in your hot glue gun to start getting it warm. And here, you're going to want to cut a straight line at your longest part of your felt and make sure that it's about an inch wide, giving yourself a good amount to cover up your part here. And for me, I'm actually going to have to seam it a little bit where I'm gonna have to make two little pieces and make sure that it fits along here. I cut it to size so I see what my width is here and I know that this is not quite as wide as what this needs. So I'm gonna do two pieces and make sure that it fits. I'm gonna glue the first one on, see how long the second one has to be, put that there. I'm gonna put my button over one of the spots so that it's a little less blatant that I'm seaming it. So that'll be good. Okay, so I cut my two strips and I made sure one of them was exactly halfway between the two right here. So it'll seam right here and it'll go to the front where the button will be. So the button will be here and that'll be the back seam. I'll line up that so that it matches up there. And then I have this one especially long so that I can glue it and it'll match. So I'll just glue this one on first this right one piece right here and then I'll glue this one on very carefully so that it'll line up and then I'll make sure that I cut whatever part is extra which we're gonna have quite a bit a little bit extra here and then on the back part that'll just be what it is if you have a piece long enough that's preferred but I didn't I just had a couple of sheets from AC Moore and then I'm going to take my button I'm going to cut out next I'm taking my button and I'm going to cut out a circle that is slightly larger than the crocheted button part right here. Just so it looks like it's got a nice little black backdrop right there. And I'll be right back. I find it's easier if you make a small square around it instead and then you can trim around it and that makes it a lot easier. So we cut our circle. We don't want it to be too much larger than the actual button itself. And next we're just gonna glue this on. Alright, I'll be right back. So now that's glued on and I burnt my fingers in the process, so always be careful with hot glue guns. That's smart. <laughs> um, we're going to now glue this bad boy onto this part of the Pokeball. The polyfill gets everywhere. Alright, so I'll be right back. It doesn't really matter where you put it on, just make sure that it's along the band and try to make it so that it looks like it's centered. Like so. And more polyfill, of course. So now that we've glued on that part, we're going to want to take our second piece and line it up perfectly and glue that up until you get to your part where you meet on the other side. So here, you're going to want to focus on a lot more and making sure that that is exactly lined up with your seam so that it doesn't look quite so garish. So we've glued everywhere now and now we're going to take, and you notice that that is a little bit of an overlap, but when we take our Pokeball and glue that on, it doesn't look like one at all. So it looks like it actually matches up. That's why the bottom matches up a lot better. And I just snipped that off. That's the extra that was from earlier. And now we just need to glue that on. And when that's done, you have a completely done Pokeball. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, we do have a written tutorial down on the description linked from Ravelry. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment. I love responding to it. Uh, be sure to share anything that you make on Ravelry as well. We'd love seeing what you guys make. We're also going to be coming out with a new video this week for a Pokeball phone case, the pattern which fits to any size phone. We'll show you how to do that. We also have a Pokeball DS case, which both of these projects are crocheted. If you'd like me to come out with a knit pattern for this, I would love to. Be sure to leave that down in the comments as well. Be on the lookout for those patterns. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help out our channel. Until next time, guys.